Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Speedy's Garage YouTube channel. We're on another field trip this week and I've been asking you guys <clears throat> what tires you thought I should go with on Project Sport Runner and I have been considering a 285-75-16 or a 265-75-16 and what that really boils down to is like a almost a 33 or almost a 32. There's about an inch height difference. Um, the problem I was running into, I appreciate all y'all's comments and suggestions too, by the way, everybody that left me some recommendations on those. The big issue I ran into was the load rating. I might've mentioned this before, but the 285s, which look great on the truck, um, and I think would fit, you know, I've been doing some maintenance. Let's back up a minute. So we're kind of in a restoration phase on Project Sport Runner now. I've had it for like 20 years. I've been going through, if you guys have been following along and doing some restoration and updates and maintenance stuff, I uh, replaced the lower ball joints last time, uh, adjusted the suspension, so it's got the Tundra Bilstein 5100s and Tundra TRD front coil springs, which give on base setting, on the lowest setting on the shocks, you get about two inches of lift. I moved it up one perch and it gave me right at an extra half inch so now i'm i'm level all the way around it's two two and a half inches in the back two and a half inches in the front took it over and got an alignment so now we're ready for tires so that's kind of catching everything up to where we're at today anyway the big problem i was having with the tire sizes is the 285 75s everything i could find were load range d tires which means i think they're like a 10 ply on the sidewall <clears throat> making them very heavy so normal 265 75 standard load rating tire weighs about 40 pounds the d load rated tires are anywhere from like 55 to 61 pounds each and when you start adding 15 or 20 pounds per tire and you're talking about rotational mass it's a lot and i've done a lot of work to this truck they're pretty anemic unfortunately um stock and we're talking about 1990s technology v6 technology right so what 190 horsepower is what they were rated at I've done the TRD supercharger. I did water meth injection, um, which allowed me to change the tune up and get quite a bit more power out of it and go to a 2.1 inch pulley, which makes around 11 pounds of boost. So I've done a lot of work to make it perform better and it performs pretty dang good. I'll be honest with you for what it is. It's reasonably quick and feels like it's normal to drive. It doesn't feel like it's sluggish. So the last thing I really wanted to do was do something weird with the tires and add a bunch of weight and, and make it sluggish again but those 285s do look great. So we're headed to the tire shop now. I've made a decision. I took y'all's input, sort of noodled it over. We're gonna get the tires put on. When I get back, I'll show you what I ended up with. And the tires that are on it are Bridgestone Revo 2s. And I put them on the truck nine years ago. And nine years ago, they were a pretty highly recommended tire. And I'll be honest with you, they've been great. They did great in the wet. They did great in the snow. I didn't do a lot of ton of off-roading I don't I don't do a lot of that with this truck anymore um, I don't know how well they would do in the mud because the tread packs are pretty close together or the tread grooves but other than that they, they were great they lasted nine years I've had on the truck nine years and about 60,000 miles they were a 50,000 mile warranty tire and I actually went 10 10,000 miles farther on them than than they were warrantied for I probably wouldn't want my wife driving it around in the rain. The tires are very worn. I mean, there there's no tread left, especially on like the front. I've rotated them about every eight, ten thousand miles, so that might have helped. But they are shot, and I can I can really hear road noise, and they really started to pick up some um, noise and and harshness at around the fifty thousand mile mark. But I just kept running them. It's just kind of how it worked out timing wise. So that's what we're on it. And um, I want to go with something a little more aggressive to kind of make it look a little tougher, I guess is the, the right word. So I picked out a tire and replaced these. Hopefully I get the same service life out of these new tires. Like I said, I've been pretty happy with the Revo 2s. People that I talked to said that the Revo 3 got redesigned and they did not recommend it. So unfortunately, sometimes updates aren't as good as the originals. So, And I don't know if you realize this, but tires have a shelf life, um, a date, life as well as a tread wear life so i think it's 10 years and after about 10 years most tire shops won't rotate them anymore i guess they get worried about them dry rotting and cracking and maybe coming apart at speed or something like that so i actually lucked out 
and got the max out of both. So it took me about 10 years to put 60,000 miles on these tires. They're worn out and their date life has expired. So it's definitely time for new ones. One thing I will say, tires have gotten a lot more expensive than they were 10 years ago. Well, the new tires are installed, and the first thing I always do is head straight to the highway so I can get some speed and see if I notice any sound differences or vibrations, and I'm happy to say I'm doing about 70 miles an hour, and it's super quiet, super smooth. New tires are always gonna sound way better than worn out tires, but I had really worn those other ones out, and I gotta tell you, it's probably at least half the sound. <laughs> So as the rubber wears down, I guess you get close to those belts and they can carry some noise and echo it up through the you know, body of the vehicle. So anytime you get new tires, it's always a good day, man. I mean, it's super smooth, way more quiet, looks really good. I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute and show you what I ended up with. But overall, I'm very, very happy with, uh, with how it turned out. Okay, so I think I found an appropriate spot to show it off. And I gotta say, it does look really, really good. I'm not gonna tell you the size yet, Gonna see if you can figure it out. Remember, it was either a 265.75 or a 285.75. There's only about an inch size difference, but it can matter when you're talking about proportions. So without further ado, there it is. Now what size do you think those are? I'm not gonna tell you yet, but you can see they really fill out the, the fender area, the wheel well area really nicely. And it's funny because, you know, Nine years ago when I did this, the white letters out wasn't really in style, but now it's kind of come back. And I've, I've had two sets of tires on this truck and both of them were black wall. So this time I decided to put the white letters out and I really, really like it. I think it looks, I think it looks good. I almost wish they were painted in, but maybe the, the outline white letters is what that's called. Maybe that's kind of a nice, kind of a nice compromise. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about that. I'll try to get a little closer on you guys get a good look so they're Toyo open country AT threes that's the tire I decided to go with I liked the um, aggressive tread pattern I really like that I like the sidewall has pretty aggressive sidewall on it like I said I do like the raised white letters and I think it fits the proportions I wanted something a little bit more aggressive than I had last time but I didn't want something so aggressive that it was noisy or uh, not a nice road ride. This truck spends most of its life, unfortunately, just traveling back and forth to work in other places on the highway. And uh, I had to take that into consideration. So what size do you guys think those are? Again, I think it fills out the fender wells really, really good. I'll go ahead and tell you, they're 265.75s. So I sort of compromised and talking to the, the guy at Discount Tire, which I love those guys, by the way. That's where I always buy my tires. We kind of agreed that going with a little bit of more aggressive tread will sometimes make the tire look bigger than it really is. <clears throat> and he said that the Toyos tend to run just a hair bigger when you're doing measurements. So where one tire might be, you know, 31 and a quarter, these are almost 32 inch and they only weigh 41 pounds. So that kind of came to the decision point for me. I, I really didn't want to add, you know, 60 or 80 pounds to the weight of the rotational mass of the vehicle and kill my performance. I wasn't as worried about gas mileage, although it was a small consideration, but I think that looks really, really good. I'm thrilled with how it turned out and there are no compromises. I'm not having to worry about re-gearing the truck, going to 488s or something like that. This one has the 410 gears. I'm not having to worry about hauling the extra weight around all the time. And I got the look, I got the look that I wanted. So all in all, I'm gonna call that a 10 out of 10, super happy. And just so you know, I'm telling the truth. Let you see that, 265, 75, 16. And these do have the snow peak on them. They're mud and snow. I think that's what that means and it's got the snow peak on it so that was another benefit of going with this tire and they're a um, I think a 60,000 mile I think that's what that, those are 65 that 60 or 65,000 mile rated tire which is 
a bonus. I'll probably, they'll age out. I think I mentioned that before. These tires will be 10 years old probably before I end up with that many miles on them. And the other tire that I was really considering was the Cooper Discoverer AT34S, I think is the full designation. And um, so it was either that or these, or these Toyos. And uh, the gentleman at Discount Tire told me that Cooper had been bought out by Goodyear and that the quality could be a little bit at question. And between the two, he recommended this one. So I don't know if they're supposed to recommend one over the other. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, I don't know. But the guy that I talked to did recommend these. The prices were close to the same, you know, enough to not really matter. And bonus, I actually got lucky and ended up getting them when they were having a sale. So these were, I think, $110 off. Um, plus, because I'm a veteran, they offer a military discount on top of that. So not, not too bad, but still a little bit more than I paid than I paid for tires uh, nine or 10 years ago. So that's it. That's the second thing or the third thing we've done on the truck. We got the suspension squared away with lower ball joints. We got new tires. That's all set up. We did the timing belt, water pump, all the belts and pulleys and tensioners and all that good stuff. Radiator, upper and lower radiator hoses, coolant flush. We're kind of catching up on everything here. I told you this is going to be sort of a restoration uh, progress or project, probably what I should say. Next up is going to be fluid changes. So we're going to start getting after that next. Valve cover gaskets are also on the schedule and some interior, um, I don't know what to try to call it, restoration, I guess I'll say it again. The leather is getting a little a little warm. We got to figure out the cushions and maybe, I mean, they're going to change the, all the leather out. Get, leave me a comment let you know about this too. I'm thinking about the interior and it's it's the, uh, this one was an SR5 with leather, which I was a little bit surprised to, f to have found, you know, 20 years ago. The leather's not terrible, so I could probably clean it up, but the cushions are getting a little bit a little bit flat. So I could technically just do new lower seat cushions just in the front. The back seats are like brand new because nobody's ever ridden back there. And then maybe new leather seat covers for the bottoms, or I could do a cat skins. And if I do that, I'm definitely gonna do new cushions, probably add heated seats, and then maybe a black center, maybe perforated. Leave me some comments and let me know what you think. Armrest. Already got that in the shop, ready to go. It's going to be black with tan baseball stitching. Tell you more about that when I get to it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. It's at speedies underscore garage, as well as the website, www.speediesgarage.net. And if you want to see more Project Sport Runner, third gen forerunner restoration, be sure to subscribe. Got a lot more in store for this vehicle.